Hey guys, it's Scratchmaster. Today we will learn how to make a calculator. This is a basic final script that we'll make. It's actually not too final, but it's final, okay? You understand? Yeah, you shouldn't be understanding because that was in English. And we'll start from scratch. And I'll just remove all these variables. Oh, uh, I don't want to remove them. They're like life to me. Whatever. Sorry, you're just like moving around a lot. So one flag is clicked. Um, ask. Number one. Just gonna make this. Oh, number one. So basically, this um ask block. It's just gonna ask you something, and then you could input a number. So when it says number one, you input. What's the first number you want to subtract, or multiply, or divide, or add to another number? So that's what the number ask does. Ask the user what number they want, and they could just type. So we want to create a variable. We want to create a variable called number one. I had nothing to this variable, as you can see in the script. It's number one. So basically store the answer to number one so basically I could use the answer tag over and over and over again but then the answer will be the same for each number so I'm just using a variable to store the value of answer each time if you didn't understand that you don't have to but to clarify if I ask what's number two and I use answer for this and also answer for this the answer of number one will be the same as the answer of number two even though the user types something else hope you understand that you should so I'm just using a variable so I'll set 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 number one to First of all, I have to set it to zero, so then whenever the guy puts a number, it's not going to be the same number as last time. And set the answer to the answer. I mean, set the question to the answer. Anyway, okay, so let's try this. Let's go back to to the test tab. And here we are. So number one, I want number one to be eight. And basically, number one, the variable is stored to eight. You can see this proof right there. Back to the work lab. And we are here. So, I will have to be doing this um, more times. Just doing the same thing, as you can see. Doing the same thing over and over again. So, I'm just going to... Um, set number two. Well, I should set number one. Yeah, so I'm just gonna set number two to zero, and I'm gonna ask the guy for the second number that he wants to use an operation number against number two, and I'm gonna set the second number to the second answer. And I will undo this so you guys can see. Back uh, to the test lab. Do -do 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 so my flag is clicked. Both variables set to zero because of our first two scripts. Next, number one. It's eight. Just say eight. Number one, I want it to be eight. So then eight is going to be number one. Number two, I want it to be two. Two. Is number two so I basically have variable so all the numbers are stored again I've used the answer block I mean last time I tried scratch which is like I don't know like 10 months ago yeah last time I used scratch it didn't work held a different value each time you don't need to understand that yeah, yeah, yeah. now let's continue so now we need the operation I'm just gonna um unhide the operation tag, I mean block. Sorry, I was just into some HTML, CSS. So I now use tag. By the way, those videos are coming soon. 
So I'm just going to set the um, operation to the answer. And you will be like, hold your horses, you forgot to ask for the operation. Whoever said that, you are correct. And by the way, if you did not say hold your horses, you're not correct. So I'm just saying that. No, I'm just joking. So data, I'm gonna unhide operation. And I'm gonna set operation to... Um, what do you want to set it to? A dot? Sure. Back to the test lab. Okay, so number one, eight. Number two, like, seven. What's eight minus seven? You want to do subtraction, addition, what do you want to do today? Subtraction? Okay. So subtraction is the operation. So now basically with all this information that the variable contains, we could make a calculator. Yep, you know, I said it. Okay, so to make a calculator, I'll make a new script. So I'll use the if tag. So when flag is clicked and if the um, operation is zero is equal. So if the operation, if the operation, as you can see in the left, well you cannot see, but now you could. In the left, the operation is on the subtraction side. So as you could see there, if the operation is a subtraction sign, subtract. That's what I basically want to tell it to do. But then, it's going to be too confusing for the scratch cat. Subtract is a big word. He has a small brain. So, we'll have to make an answer. So I'll have to set the answer to... Set the answer to number one. Minus number two. Okay, do you guys understand this? Well, you should. So basically, um, when flag is clicked, if the operation is equal to a negative sign, then it will set a new variable answer to number one minus number two. So just taking all variables and using them, technically, and I have to set answer to zero. And you'll be like, whoa, hold your horses, Scratch Master. Um, when flag is clicked, I use set operation to zero, 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 and a dot. A dot is not a operation, and we did not get to addition and all that stuff. So, we'll not understand. Which is why we use a magical script called Forever. Forever, forever. And now let's go to the test lab. All right, so number one is going to be eight, number two is going to be two, and number, the operation, we only did subtraction, so please, subtraction. And, I forgot to unhide the answer, the answer should be six. Um, does anyone have complaints with that? Um, please comment, and I will make a new tutorial on... Basic subtraction, I guess. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I will. You guys need to learn math and scratch. Back to the test lab. So, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna make it short and simple. I'm gonna end there. Actually, no, I just gave you guys an answer, but we use a whole scratch cat to ask you guys number one, number two, and the operation. Let's make Scratch Cat also answer these questions. So, ah, making my life harder. So when flag is clicked, all you have to do, it's actually not too hard, say hello. Yeah, you want to say hello? No. Say the answer. Back to the test lab. Eight, number one's number two, and the operations subtraction. Oh, he says six. He's a smart one. And if you guys want to get rid of this, um, un, like, 
Look, I don't even like how they look. Like, come on, scratch. Oh, you can do that. But I hate that too. Yeah, I'm a hater. So, um, technically, you could. Hmm. You could un uncheck these and they will go away. But then, all you have to do. But then, if people say, like, number one, they won't know what that means. So, all you have to do is. You go back to this, um, work lab. If they say number one, you will say, um, pick your first number to, like, subtract, add, pick your operation, only add the symbol. You have to write that stuff so people know what to do. And, yeah. And then I'll we'll just go to a basic overview of the script. One flag is click set four variables to zero. Ask what your number one is going to be. And set the number one to the answer. So if you say, if you type in six as your number one, number one variable will be six. Then ask for number two, same thing. Ask for the operation. If you add a plus sign, it'll be um, addition, minus sign, subtraction, the other. And by the way, I forgot to say, if it's an, it will set the operation to a variable. If the operation, like, you don't have to make it a negative sign, you could say, like, subtraction. So if the user types subtraction, um, Scratch will know to use subtraction. That's basic stuff. So, yeah. And when flag is clicked, for set answer to zero, forever if. So if operation, so the moment... The user types the operation, which is a negative sign. Well, it doesn't have to be a negative sign, but if he does a negative sign, it will set answer, a new variable, to number one minus number two. And then Scratch Cat will say a new number, which is six. So much basic stuff, and you can do the same thing, so all you have to do um, for different like um uh what's it called operations i need to do some math tutorials you're not alone kids so you could just say forever if operation is equal to plus set answer to number one plus number two which is a different operator which is a different operator and that's your second video of how to build a simple calculator. That's second scratch video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, view, rate, be awesome. You guys rock. Keep rocking. If you have any concerns, questions, comments, please comment below. And I will proudly assist you. Thanks for watching, subscribe, Scratch Master, check it out.